Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Uh, was over with uh, somebody that was watching television and uh, saw two different things that came on. Now, you know, they love to tell you about what their plans are with movies and television. For example, uh, Hunger Games came out a number of years ago. Well, I knew what that was all about. They're telling you what they plan to do to you, like they did in Holomador, uh, which was Ukraine. They came in uh, to all the farmers. A bunch of soldiers would jump off the back of a truck one day at the farm. And uh, they took all the food took it all and uh if they didn't shoot the farmers usually the christians in the back of the head um sometimes they'd you know two o'clock in the morning three o'clock in the morning in the middle of winter they uh would uh, have them leave the house and uh, wouldn't even let them take a coat so i don't know if you know anything about uh Russian winters, but uh, yeah, a lot of people uh, they froze to death. So, you know, and that's if they didn't just plain outright shoot you. And if you didn't freeze to death, well, you slowly starve to death. You got to watch your, uh, you got to watch your children starve to death in front of you. Yeah. And uh, but there was a movie uh, called. Uh, Oh, stupid Will Smith. Never never liked any, really, really didn't care for any movies, but uh, he was one of my least favorite. Uh, what was the movie? I don't remember what the movie is, but uh, he was some kind of a government agent, a hit man or whatever, sniper type thing, killed people, worked for some government agency, you know, like, can you, uh, can you see uh, I uh, and A type thing, you know? Well, come to find out that uh, they had been cloning him. And I thought, wow, that's kind of interesting. You know, there was a movie called The Clonus Horror, C-L-O-N-U-S, Horror. Uh, let's see, they had... Um, who was the guy on uh, Mission Impossible? Yeah, it was called Parts. As in body parts. The Clone is Horror. Came out in 79. And, uh, yeah, Peter Graves. That's who I was thinking about. You know, everybody thinks, oh, yeah, Mission Impossible. Uh, uh, what's his name? The, um, ugh. I can't even think. I don't even. I don't watch these movies, so I, you know, I, you got to forgive me. But the original Mission Impossible, the one on TV back in the '60s, uh, Peter Graves, yeah, yeah, not the one with Tom Cruise, but uh, yeah, it was where they were, uh, they were uh, cloning people for their body parts the rich and famous and the elite and politicians peter graves was if i remember correctly he was the president of the united states well in this uh movie with will smith uh i don't remember the name of it i you know they uh cloned him because they wanted he was some kind of a super soldier or whatever and they wanted to uh clone him and turn him you know have a bunch of his clones now the thing was they cloned dolly the sheep it was either in the late 70s or early 80s now you know if you can clone a sheep you can clone a human absolutely no problem at all so there's uh the the thing they found out about uh the uh g whiz Five is that it doesn't go the, the microwaves cannot go underground i just 
it, it blocks them. So there you've got all these underground bases. There's a huge underground city in Kansas City. Kansas City, Missouri. I've been there. I made deliveries there in a tractor trailer truck. Matter of fact, you could drive these tractor trailers underground. That's how big this thing is. Uh, it's a si huge. I mean, I, they unloaded my entire trailer. And this thing was, I didn't even see the whole thing. I just saw part of it. But uh, you could actually turn the truck around and drive underground. Uh, the thing was huge. From what I understand, they'd been working on it since World War II. So, but uh, I'm kind of wondering, do they have clones that uh, they can get rid of us now? They don't even need us because they've got clones to do... Um, uh, the work that they need, you know, the electronics repairs and mechanical repairs and what have you, that they can wipe out, you know, 95% of the population. Now, in Revelation 12, uh, there is going to be a remnant that God's going to take into the wilderness. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be one of them. I don't know. I just know that uh, it's going to happen. And the pre-tribbers, they're going to be caught totally unaware because they believed the lie and they didn't bother to read their Bibles. They blessed those that cursed Jesus, the Antichrist. You know, it really, really, you're going to bless those that hate Jesus? Really? But, uh, you know, they can clone people for body parts. And this was in 79, this movie uh, I remember it when it came came out. I thought, wow. Little did I know that it was actually, uh, you know, not really fiction, more like a, uh, a documentary, I guess you could say, you know. But they were, they were, uh, they had cloned Will Smith, uh, you know, as a bunch of super soldiers. So, then there was another... So I guess they don't even need us anymore. You know, they probably got clones of certain people for either body parts or and or um, certain jobs. And then there was another movie called, or TV show or movie, I don't know what it was. I was just kind of glancing at it for a few minutes. It was called Upgrade. Some guy was a paraplegic and some government experiment or business or something put uh, uh, implants into him, electronic implants, where they connected it to his, uh, like a computer type chip into his nervous system, made it so that this paraplegic could actually not only walk, but he became like a super soldier. Because when the uh, computer chip took over, he had, he was faster than most people and stronger than most people and upgrade you know that's what they call it upgrade and he was able to fight really unbelievable and you know this and that and the other and i don't know how long this went on but the thing is the um you know you think about it they had um, a movie called uh, well, animation and a movie called Ghost in the Shell, sort of along the same lines, where they merged humans with either partly with machine, computerized machines, or totally. They could actually take your brain and put it into, implant it into a uh, cybernetic body. So you're not even human anymore. It's just your brain. Hence what they call the ghost or your spirit. But, uh, you know, it's interesting. They can do, uh, I guess, maybe the Mark of the Beast will be a microchip. I don't know. Oh, and this, uh, in this upgrade, the, um, the computer thing was talking to him. Yeah, it would talk to him. And uh, tell him, you know, we'll do this, don't do that. Uh, giving them advice and what have you. And the part about having super strength, well, what's up with that? 
All right, well, let's take a look at the attributes of devil possession. Mark chapter 5, verse 1. And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs, out of the tombs, the graveyard, a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs. He lived in the graveyard, right? And no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains. All right, so they tried to tie him up with chains, okay, metal chains. And the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. So this guy had superhuman type strength. A uh, fetter is sort of kind of like, think of like handcuffs, okay? So they're trying to tie him up with chains and handcuff type fetters. And he just breaks them. I mean, what kind of human can do that? I always wondered about people that were heavily involved in karate, being able to do things that seemingly are impossible. Perhaps they're possessed of devils. I don't know. So, this movie Upgrade, this guy was able to do superhuman feats and uh, had superhuman strength. And the fetter is broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. Uh, that's a very popular thing nowadays, that people cut themselves. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of, thou son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of him, come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. Now, I wonder if the um, voice in the head of the guy that had the electronics implants in the movie Upgrade was indi uh, indicative of devils. You know, possession of devils, and you got electronics in your body. Matter of fact, he killed somebody that had some electronics in their body, and then, you know, the coroner took over, and they found this guy had a bunch of wires running through his body, and he had had surgery and had all kinds of things. I, you know, I don't know the whole plot because I didn't watch the thing i i only watched i don't know maybe five or ten minutes of it but um, i've had that happen to me so many times it's like i'll walk in on a somebody's house or something and they're watching a movie and then i get to watch the best parts um there was a movie years ago somebody was a prisoner and the police or government needed him for something to track down somebody and he had a, a microchip implant in his body I think I think it was in his right hand or in his forehead I forget but uh, they had it so that if you didn't do what they said they would send out a computer signal the chip would break and it was filled with poison and you would die I don't remember the name of the movie I didn't watch the movie I just was seeing a clip i don't remember if i was over at somebody's house or flipping through channels or whatever but uh i was i don't think i was a believer when i saw that i'm not sure that was an old movie but uh they've been doing this you know thing about the chips for a long time well that movie might have came out in the 80s i'm not sure but the uh, police officer that was working with the guy found out that the guy was innocent, that he'd been framed or something for the crime, and they put him in prison, gave him this chip. But then they let him out to help them find somebody or something. And I think he was the one that framed this guy. 
and the uh, they were going. They thought he went rogue or whatever, and they were going to kill him and send the the uh, signal for the chip to break and po poison this guy. And the police officer found that he had indeed had told the truth, and he was not guilty. He was innocent. And then he stopped them from um, killing this guy. So, you know, it's funny. They've had this technology for a long time. So I'm pretty sure. So the thing is, all these kids that are uh, with these computers, they're going to think, hey, a microchip implanted into the body. Boy, that's going to be a good thing, you know. Uh, no more identity theft. Uh, all my bank account records are there. I don't need to carry around a passport, driver's license. It's all there. And uh, in the future, you know, hey, this thing will be uh, great. It'll, you know, monitor my vital signs and my health, my medical records. Hey, this sounds like a great thing. And then, you know, eventually uh, it'll be able to use so that I can work harder and be smarter. And uh, yeah. And then you Bible people that think this is the mark of the beast well oh that's an old 2000 year old book and you know it was it uh, bible's anti-semitic and this and that and the other and you know here it is you're holding up progress you know uh, yeah off with their heads yeah so uh just some things to think about you know i'm not trying to be doom and gloom but uh the thing is the lord's in control and he picked us for this time for us to live. I mean, we could have been born a thousand years ago. But he picked us to live in this time period for a reason. So let's try to find out our purpose and fulfill it because we're supposed to give glory to God. That's our purpose in life in this life and the life to come. So, uh, you know, it's just funny. The uh, television and movies are giving you predictive programming. And I can see exactly where they're going with this. It just makes so much sense. So, all righty. Well, this is Chaplain Bob, Light of the World Ministries. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world. In Jesus' name, amen.